In the first season of One Hour Limit Locked, we set ourselves the challenge to get a fire cape in 45 days while only being able to play for one hour a day. I went 36 minutes overtime on the last day, but we got our cape in the end. The thing is, that was only the warm up. Now, we're really about to start cooking. 60 days are on the clock, 175 quest points are on the menu, 8 council members are in need of a charming knight in shining armour, and I'm the idiot they're getting. Welcome to season 2 of One Hour Limit Locked, it's chef in season baby. Hello again everyone and welcome back, it is day 27 here. If today is a little bit shorter of a video, then I would not be surprised. Apologies in advance, if that turns out to be the case. We are going to do the core and diary, but after that, and a birdhouse run, we're pretty much just going to be cooking karambwans, and I'll be like one ticking them, so I kind of need to... Oh, we are not that close. I thought we were way closer than that. Uh, I'm gonna... Why did I do that? I wanted to duel. I don't have a dueling ring. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I am going to go do a birdhouse run and then finish off the rest of this diary. Off to Fossil Island? Yeah, sorry, I'm gonna be one ticking Karam ones for most of the hour, which means, like, I'll be wanting to be quite focused so I can maintain the best possible experience for it. It's, it's quite an intense activity, uh, not a difficult activity, but one that's you know demands your focus and attention. So it might end up being a short video. It's basically all I'm saying. Okay, that uh, is the birdhouse's reset. I'm gonna go for a reset ourselves at the Ferox Enclave. I don't know really where to start with these. Best way to lobby king. Probably got a bit minecart, so I think we just go games necklace. But we want our dream and staff on us and stands and eng. Okay, so we games necklace to Winter Todd. We make sure we get an Alkin on the way because we need cash for the minecart. And then, gosh, where? Lovey King. Okay, we have to go into a pub. We're probably actually pretty close to the Arceus library. Yeah, I was gonna fairy ring to get there, but we can just walk, because we're like right next to it. Okay, I made this potion. Very nice. Go do the book. Not too far from the warrants there after that, but we can get there much easier with the caress memoirs. Have I gone... Have I, I just ran like around the whole building, just went the completely wrong way. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I literally just did a lap of the fucking Arcase library, for god knows what reason. Okay, give me some good book RNG, please. Oh wait, we can just go ask. We don't need to locate them all because we're not here for a session. We're just here for the one. Where's Biblia? Top floor, northeast. Couldn't be any more specific. Oh, got it. Do we need to read this? Transportation incantation still? I didn't think that was a thing anymore. Oh, it's not even there. Never mind. Yeah, I don't know if we can use the Corrin Castle teleport. Is it a higher level? Is that what it is? Oh, it needs water rooms, that's why. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna go to the back. So we'll get some water rooms, and we'll get caress memoirs, and we'll go to the pisk one to start. Perfect, right by the manhole. Browse the general store. Agility course at Shazian, so I'm guessing that's DJR. Cool. Uh, take a boat to Land's End. I think we just climb back out. Okay, that's a boat to Land's End. We're gonna go straight to the Corrin Castle teleport. I've never done the Shiji and Agility course for what it's worth. So I actually have no clue where it is, but I'm just assuming... <laughs> well, I'm assuming Shiji because it's in the name. I'm gonna have to use some prayer here, aren't I? Okay, let's just check the map real quick. Oh, it's actually real close. Not very often used path, this one. Right, first ever time running at the Shazian Agility Horse. Wait, which way do I go? Shit! There's two different paths? 
I'm confused. Okay, we're done, but like, ah, uh, I can't justify it. I want to see what the other way is. I'm just curious. Like, it's agility XP, so uh, yeah, it's not the greatest agility XP, but I just want to see what the fuck happens if you go the other way. I'm guessing it's just a different path, but why? You need at least 48 agility. Okay. Well, that was a waste of time. All right, where's this bitch? Let's go, and we get a lamp. I think that's gonna have to go on agility, to be honest. Probably does, don't it? Let's just whack it on there and not think about it anymore. Yay! Now we are pretty close to just run down to the food hall over here. Not the food hall, but the play oven. Set up shop on our Karamb One production line. Okay, so we want the cooking gauntlets. Why is caress one? Uh, the book of... Oh, that's a book of arcane knowledge. I thought it was caressed. <laughs> okay, where are the Karam ones at? Here? All I need is Karam ones. Just don't show me anything other than Karam ones. Okay. Then we go over here. Gonna have to figure out the best way to do this. Okay, I'm gonna set up a cooking tracker so we can keep an eye on it. And I think we're pretty good, to be honest. I need to settle in. Get to work. First level of the day. Just for a minute, I'm gonna set the left click and the shift click to use just so I don't accidentally eat or drop the Quran ones. I wanna save as many of them as I can to sell back. Alright, we may as well set up an XP tracker as well to level 70. That was 53 cooking coming in that. A long way to go, gotta keep this rate nice and high. Nice thing is, is even if we stay exactly as efficiently as we are now, the XP rate will still rise over time because the burn rate goes down as we level up. And of course the whole reason we did the core and diary for this particular uh, range is even less burn chance. Especially combined up with the cooking gauntlets too. It's gonna start to add up. 54! Uh, the burn rate's already improving significantly. Gone from like burning half an invent to barely any of it. My main concern at the moment is actually running out of money. I think we've got about 600k left, but we're gonna need to sell a lot of cooked Quran ones to be able to keep this going. I don't know what the margin is for raw to cooked, how much we'll lose or gain per but I imagine with the burns, we're gonna be losing, not gaining. That was 55 though. Fifty-six cooking. Felt like a different sound a uh, different effect. Wasn't a special level though, it was 1006 total, so no idea. Maybe that's just the cooking sound. Well, it's looking like this is not going to be a one-day grind anyway. But on the bright side, it's also looking like it's not going to be more than a two-day grind. Probably more like one and a half. So who knows, maybe we get the RFD monkey done tomorrow. After doing the rest of this cooking, however long we have left. There's 57. 58. My wrist hurts. That might be 59 cooking coming in. Guess what? It was. Oh, we finally just about got our XP per hour and XP left to match up for the first time. Oh, there it is. Officially under one hour to go. I'm actually wondering if there isn't the possibility of boosting the cooking. Because if we only have to get to like, I don't know, just pulling and I, I, I don't know how much a chef's delight gives that's the the beer but if we only had to get to like 68 for example that'd probably save us a significant amount of experience that we have to gain rather than 70 and like we don't need 70 if, if we're allowed to boost because we'll still be getting some more cooking xp anyway but that's the requirement that we want it for is the monkey there's 60. 
Almost out of Karamban, so I'm going to have to make a trip to the GE soon. That's what I'm going to check on the cooking boost potential. Because I can't spare my hands at the minute. This is, yeah, this is constant activity. Okay, we don't have a full invent left in the bank. So I am going to go to the GE, sell what we can and stock up. 2,373 successful cooks away. We've got about 700k there. I'll take that. I will definitely take that. I might have to lower them ever so slightly. Target price. Perfect. 700k back in. Okay, we've got some money as well. We've got some bird's nests. We can shut those up. Well, right. We don't really need the alks anymore. So let's just get rid of them. Let's just get rid of them. Save myself from having to worry about carrying that around all over the point. I cannot be asked to... Like, it's been good. It's worked out very well for us to do what we wanted it to do. But at this point, we've got the magic level we needed. And it's just an extra thing in the back of my mind to keep track of. Okay, here is our cash stack. Can we get, like, 2,000? That would be nice. We can get almost 3,000. Not going to buy instantly. So I'm going to have to put the price up. Okay, we got a lot of them. I think I'm just going to leave that in and go start cooking these. So we should probably go house telly. All right, so if I look up RFD monkey, 70 cooking is boostable, but the agility isn't. Oh, I was planning to boost the agility. Interesting. It's a good job we're not doing that today, because I need some time to look that up now. I may have to go and get five more agility levels, which kind of sucks. Uh, it might mean we do Underground Pass sooner rather than before, uh, before RFD rather than after. Not like on the rest of the Karam ones. I'm just going to collect them now, so I don't have to do it at any other point. That was 61 cooking. Coming in hot like a cooked caramb one. Can you believe it? He's only gone and done it. He's got 62 entire cooking levels on the account. Humongous progress. We can now continue to cook caramb ones. Huge unlock. 63. 10 less than 73. Five more than 58. I'm just saying numbers because even random numbers are more interesting than current ones at this point. Tell you what, when this is done, I'll never want to see a spiky boy again. Hu huge moment of enlightenment here, y'all. I think I've figured out what hell is. It's not this exactly, but it's not far off, right? Hell is being forced to one tick current ones. You don't get any XP, even when you're successful. You just have to keep going forever. It's weird making a video like this, because you basically hate the entire time what you're doing. I mean, it's not that bad, don't get me wrong, but it's very repetitive and my arm and wrist hurt. But, I know for a fact when I look at that XP tab at the end of the day, I'm going to pop a boner. Such a contrast between, oh, oh, this sucks, and, uh, oh, look how much we gained. <laughs> believe that was 64. And that is 65. 14 levels gained today in cooking. I am going to stop now to make sure we have time to get a birdhouse running, but it's been a very, very solid day there. And there's a hunter level, that's 50. We can actually make mahogany birdhouses now. I don't know if we have the crafting level, though. Probably not just yet. We could buy them, though. 50. Is a goal we need anyway. But there's a bunch of quests I'm planning to do. And I don't really want to bring them forward just for birdhouses. Alright, quick trip back to the GE. Just to spend whatever time we have being as useful as we can. Gonna grab a new wealth. Going to grab these. I'm curious if I buy a chest light. M. 
that's expensive. I'm gonna just have to lock it up, it'll be easier. Right, is there any other random junk we can sell just at the end of today? Maple seeds. Don't think there's a great deal. No, just some bits and pieces. Oh, there's a bunch of sapphire rings there and emerald rings we'll probably keep and make them into jewelins. Oh, shit. Spent too long browsing. Oh! Oh, day 27, folks. Day 27. You ready to look at this experience tab with me? 345,000 experience gain today. I'll take it. We didn't spend the whole day cooking. We spent like 15 minutes finishing off the achievement diaries and birdhouse runs and stuff. Maybe 15 to 20 minutes just on other extraneous things outside of cooking. So, yep, yeah, 300k when we're looking at about 450 an hour. Seems about right for the amount of time uh, that we actually spent doing it. To about two thirds, yeah. Solid, solid day. Solid day, y'all. My wrist hurts. I've got some more cooking to do tomorrow, but let's just look up, actually. Cooking boosts. Okay, it's dependent on level. If you're 60 to 79, you get plus 5 from a mature. Plus 4 from a regular, which is a lot cheaper. It's just 400 GP. Interesting. So, we could technically stop. We don't actually have to cook any further. Yeah, we can stop. We can get a mature chef's delight and boost to the RFD monkey the the thing i'm worried about though yeah it's even showing up as orange now 48 agility if we can't boost that then i'm gonna have to go and get it it says not boostable on the wiki so folks i'm gonna have to come up with a plan to try and get up to 48 agility next because i didn't particularly have one if we have a look at the track we need about 30,000 xp that is a lot that's 115 laps at Canafis. That is a lot. Alright, I'm going to have to figure something out, y'all. That's my next task, to, to come up with a plan to get these agility levels. And then we can finally set the Monkey Man free. We can move our sights onto Legends Quest and Ceramic Vars. And not be too far away from the Culinary Answer. Yes, been a solid, solid day though. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. It helps out a ton, boosts me into the algorithm, and also lets me know that you enjoy the work I'm creating. Hit me with a comment down below and let me know what you think of Tombs of a Mascot being the Season 3 goal. Because that's what I'm considering right now, is making Season 3 to get raid ready and to complete a raid. It, on, an, on like an entry level mode, granted, but... You know, still to do a raid. And Tombs is the one that I know the best and think I'd have the m much best shot with than any other. So that's, that's what I'm thinking at the minute. Let me know what you think of that. And hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so you stay tuned with all the future content whenever it does release. Tomorrow's video is out a bit out of time. I mean, my schedule doesn't really exist anyway, so that's to be expected. Uh, but it is my birthday, so there is a very, very slim chance that I don't record tomorrow. But I'm still planning to. I'm still intending. To, I'm going to make a plan. And, I'm, 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 yeah, I should be there. But yeah, other than that, look after yourselves. Be lovely to one another. And I will see you on the next one.